Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Mike Manning, and welcome back to Penn State Baron Esports. Tonight, we have another game with Penn State Baron Overwatch. It's time up against Caldwell University. First map of the night, Elios. Baron on blue side, Caldwell on red. Funnily enough, this matchup was supposed to happen on the first week of the ECAC season, though, due to some complications with the ranked situation uh, and how Blizzard was handling ranks and uh, certain internal issues ended up being pushed back. We're fine. We finally get the chance to see the match Five, right here tonight. Three, two, one. Round one. Capture the objective. The team's rolling out Caldwell a bit faster. There's a lot of balance changes, even since last week. Werewolf takes out Purple. That's a lot of damage lost for Baron. And that objective falls to Caldwell hands. Will still up, doing some nice damage. Map positioning, try and get on top of Paris here. Can't quite find it. Team's gonna cover him. Still looking, that engage. Baron does a group. Purple's back. Alter's starting to come up on the field. He gets first one. Joey almost down. Matt, as Matt tries to rush down Seth. There's the coalescence. Seth catching two. Balkan and Joey are both down. Muko leads the charge in the objective. Great. It's finished off, as does Werewolf. Matt just hiding, waiting for a chance. The rest of the team to regroup. He's going to regen at full health thanks to the, uh, the health regen changes. Matt, top of soup, but can't quite find the pick. Joey finishes them off, finishes off soup though. Craig gets Seth. Purple run down. Lucas finished off a very clean retake by Caldwell. Point falls back into their hands. Five ults on Baron's side. Almost as many coming up on Caldwell. It's a lightning strike. There's a dragon blade pop by, by Matt. Little preemptive. Does get Paris to panic pop that transcendence though. No, ult for ult. Ooh, soup gets the amp wall down. The Joey takes him out. Seth catches Werewolf Baron, pushing onto the points. Mukul with that annihilation runs through Creighton Vulcan. He's trying to get out. Finished off by Mukul. It's Baron taking control of the objective. He can't really afford to wipe again. If Caldwell captures this objective, already at 84%, Baron might not get the chance to fight for it again. Matt touching that point, causing a little bit of chaos. Crazy up top as well. Matt's on the point. It's go time. There's a Barander falling. Muko batters down Joey as soon as he pops that ult. Paris takes out Matt. Muko is slapped. Paris steps onto the point to stall. Muko's there to cover, and Paris is down. Muko. 
kills Balkan. Forces Crit to run back. Baron officially could leave when it comes to percent. So the only all for this fight might just be coalescence. 92%. And just gotta hold here. Nobody can give before to get picked. Purple taking some damage. He's getting chunked. Caught by werewolf. Matt with the pivot over to Symmetra takes out Mukul. Losing your tank there is so bad. It's gonna be rough. Baron's gonna need somebody to touch. Get this overtime. Symmetra's gonna make it really hard for that person to survive. 96%. Someone's gotta touch. Running out of time. Seth manages to slide on. Gets the contest. Werewolf takes out Seth and Soup. Joey trying to finish off Paris. Paris fighting hard. Werewolf takes out Paris though. Matt catches purple. Despite managing to make the objective. Not enough. Caldwell take that very first round. All right, second round on well. Essentially the most infamous of Ilios' layouts. Ooh, Paris catches map. Trying to cause some chaos, manages to boop crowd into a spot where he can't get out with that that Moira TP. Google catches Joey. Very nice initial take from Baron as Paris takes out Vulcan. They're just harassing Werewolf. No escape. Baron take control. Soup with another beautiful boop on crap. Here we take that purple. Trying to catch him, can't quite. Werewolf though is down. Mukul forcing back the surviving members of Caldwell. Soup is causing chaos behind them. Beautiful Terra Surge. Even if. Mukul doesn't get the kill. Beautiful setup for his team. Baron just spawn camping. Caldwell here. Beautiful job finding their stride. Snipe with the spear. Can't tag Caldwell out though. Especially after they played last round. Seems like Baron cannot afford to give them an inch. Nice TP. Cool, let's up both sides. Soup's caught in an awkward spot, but does manage to get out. Mukul survives that anti. Ooh, and boost the terror surge doesn't find a kill. Purple does get finished off. Joey takes out Soup. Wait a minute. Goldwell starting to find some picks here. Beautiful spear from Werewolf. And while Baron does manage to hold it to 99%. Caldwell finally get control of the objective. Here's the hard thing though. They're gonna have to hold this point the entire rest of this round. They cannot afford to play up or risk a single pick. A single lost fight will cost them this round. Pressure is up. 
Oh, let's play back a bit. There's the... Ooh, that's a big boop. Matt is down. Well, Muko running down Kozlo's backline. Not going to chase. Still got to play for the team. Smart call. Werewolf does manage to take out Purple. But with Muko's help, Baron to pick him apart. Like I said, just like that, one fight is all it took to finish off that round. Baron tied up. 1-1 one, one in this first game. Here we go into the tiebreaker. All right, we are on game three. Where will the pivot over to Zarya? I don't be the call Baron with some overwhelming firepower. Nice TP, really throwing Baron off. Seth takes out Joey. Creatures harassing, finds the pick on Soup. And poor Paris takes out Matt. Baron will gain and just control the objective. As Seth domes bulk and purple takes out Crave. They run down Werewolf. Right, Ilya used to be a very win more kind of map. So as long as Baron can keep a tight hold on this choke. Should be smooth sailing. Werewolf pivoting over to the Sigma. I like that I like that tank pick better here. Werewolf gets cornered though. Moogle takes him out. Correct, it's soup, and Moogle takes out Matt, but Vulcan finishes Moogle off. Here's the coalescence. Paris is down. Purple's getting torn apart. Good stuff. Joey takes out Purple and Seth. Thanks to that coalescence, Caldwell gain control of the objective. And just outside 50%. That could be tight. That could be super tight. Members of Caldwell still need to make it. It's gonna be close. With oh, two ults up on Baron's side. Be careful of that transcendence though. Perfect counter to Terra Surge here. Spoken catches a pick on Paris. Joey catches purple. They all pop by Joey. Soup is down as is Paris. Beautiful hold by Caldwell. Already overtaken Baron's progress. Baron's running out of time to turn this around. Lightning strike might just be the start. Ooh, couldn't quite find the pick on Vulcan. Didn't force him to transcend either. Ooh, nice shot by Joey. Paris is down. Mukul's Terra Surge. Forcing that transcendence out of Vulcan. Might be a worthwhile trade. So trying to hold on. In purple, both taking out 85%. It's running out of time. Someone's going to need to touch if they want to stay in this. It's the Sigmal trying to catch at least one surviving attacker. Nice stuff from Balkan, one tapping Seth. Meanwhile, hey, wow. Paris manages to make it back there. Mukul takes out Balkan, just trying to make it to the objective. It's not going to be enough. Caldwell is going to take that first game over Baron. Number 1 0. We move into our second.
All right, folks, here we are. Hoping it's a game two between Penn State Baron and Caldwell University. Second map of the night, King's Row. I believe Baron will start attacking. Caldwell will be starting on the defending side. Leaves it up to Baron to set the tone. Caldwell's only going to have to make it as far as they do. It's really up to them. And after a close last game was... Really tell they want to make an impression. Every soldier needs a cause. What? I I'm No 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 comment. I don't know how to Five, four, All right. Three. Right, we got mirror tanks here. When Baron actually taking a note out of Caldwell's book, that's a Metro pick. Get this hanging back, Matt, trying to run him down. Is forced back a bit. Does catch a pick on Joey. Give Baron a good bit of momentum. Seth's looking for another from that balcony. Or will forced to, fall, forced to fall back. Matt's still trying to deal with Seth. Does catch him, but not before Purple can take out Vulcan. Now Matt's out of position, and Baron already have a ticket of the objective. Make that two. Caldwell isn't going to be able to stop them. Baron capture the payload. Nice and quick. Rising, actually seeing Seth stay on the Widowmaker. Typically, there's like a tech pick at the start of the game. If Seth's feeling it. Especially with that Symmetra able to get her to some cheeky spots. The world's an awkward spot. Shield down, discorded. Good cover play, though. Baron slowly pushing that up. Ooh, the anti can't quite find the pick on purple. Baron pivot and take out Werewolf. Google's leading the charge. As that annihilation. He's slowly pushing the card up while providing support. Purple takes out Krat. Seth pops Balkan. Annihilation pop for Mookle is a little overkill. I mean, not fully required. The Baron are just running away with this game. Beautiful headshot, yeah. Krat forced a life grip werewolf just in short survival. Baron, get that checkpoint. Still five and a half minutes left to push. Ooh, Matt takes out purple, but werewolf is down. No tank is a bad place to be. Nice snipe. Wait, Sith gets spoken and Matt burns out from the venom mine. Google takes out Krat. Baron already halfway to the second checkpoint, just now under five minutes. That's Simwall. Joey's going up, going for the flank. They're trying to fall back, caught by Soup, and up for Mac to go purple. Paris pops the transcendence just as Werewolf activates that annihilation. And it was gonna make it awkward. Mukul takes out Vulcan. So close to annihilation of his own, just trying to survive. Patters down crowd on the way up. 
Ooh, couldn't quite pop the Annihilation, but Joey still burns out. Purple trying to, trying to control this foothold. And just to get out, and Seth takes out Matt. Ooh, nice fade away by Balkan. Gold does have Annihilation. Baron can find a good opening. Good block, good damage on Werewolf. There's a Dragon Blade. Who takes out Joey? Soup catches Matt. Vulcan up to burst down Mukul. Purple's down as well. Very, very nice pivot by Caldwell. Putting a stop to a good winnie. Putting a stop to what could have been a round ending push. Mukul to pivot over to Sigma. Gets caught and Werewolf pops the Annihilation. Forces Parent, forces Paris to transcend. And Purple catches him and Matt on the way out. Seth popping the Surgeon all trying to make a play off this opening. Almost killing Krat. Hanging on. Join credit pulled down. Transcenters from Balkan trying to hold the line. Mukul's on Ryan now. Mukul okay, diving into the back line. Takes out one. Can't quite find a second. And Seth and Soup both find a pick of their own. Seth takes out Krat. Joey's gonna try and contest here. Doesn't manage to take out Seth, but it's too little too late. Barrett finalized that push with just under two minutes left. Appreciate the support for Baird from everyone in the chat as well. Alright, we're going to see Caldwell's turn to push. They want to take this to a third round. They're going to need to at least push it all the way to the end. Steve Caldwell can match Baron's ferocity. She not going for the widow shot at all. Not unheard of, definitely a little rare. Ooh, werewolf stomping up. And are managing to push them back a bit. It's definitely a pick comp here. Ooh, that pin does hit Mukul. It's hanging on. Werewolf's in a bad spot with that anti. Matt takes out Seth, though. Joey slowly getting capture progress. That anti was Baron's opportunity. Werewolf barely hanging on, but he's still up. That looks like Caldwell. Might just get a clean capture of their own. There it goes. 
Once again, already the payload is in the attacker's hands. Here to really gonna need to dig their dig really going to need to dig their heels in here. Seth getting a nice pick on Balkan. Go pivoting in, Seth catches Matt. Joey's down as well. Werewolf causing some havoc in that little shop. Beautiful Earth Shatter! Couldn't find enough. Werewolf's emptied. The good little surge of momentum. But wasn't. Is not checkpoint defining. Muko running in, popping that annihilation. The transcendent turn, but that transcend's definitely gonna end before the annihilation does. Muko still aggro, still mad, burns down Joey and Werewolf. Surviving attackers scramble. A little looking for a pick, but cornered by Muko. Baron to gain a bit of a foothold here. Four minutes left. Three and a half. Dolts on both sides. And Joey gets a beautiful pick on Seth. Mukul responds in kind, Matt is down, but Joey tears apart Mukul. Baron managed to hold it for a bit, but it looks like they might just lose this checkpoint. Well, it's to try and stem the tide, but it's not enough. That, check that first checkpoint does fall into Coldwell hands. Four and a half minutes left. Ooh, nice spray by Seth. Joey's down. Werewolf almost has that earth shatter. Barrier is down. Purple pivoting with that Rhino. Beautiful counter to, or that Bastion. Beautiful counter to Reinhardt. Google catches Krat. Gonna have minutes. Ooh, nice pick from Paris. That's two. Matt and Joey are both down. We're approaching three minutes. Baron managed to push Caldwell back a bit. Caldwell halfway to pushing that payload to the final checkpoint. It's gonna start slowly backing up now. We've got three minutes. To push this car to the end. Even then, we're still gonna go to round three no matter what. Beautiful barrier from Mukul. Countering that earth shatter stupendously. Matt jumps in, taking out purple. Survivors get beautiful stuff. Just beautiful stuff. Nana boosted. Sigma ult not enough thanks to that transcendence. Mukul's gonna keep peppering though. Joey's hit, but Mukul is down. Purple's lightning strike catches two. The werewolves made it back to the point. Two minutes, 20 seconds left. Purple finishes off Matt. Baron not giving up control yet. Seth hanging on. Werewolf is down. Guys gonna try and get away, but Seth isn't gonna let that happen. Okay, almost falling as well. We've hit the two minute mark. Baron officially have more time, but if they want to stop the game here, they still need to hold for two more minutes. 
were some very influential ults spent last last fight. Werewolf pivoting over to Arissa. Baron getting to adapt fast to that changeup. Ooh, map popping the sim alt. There's the tack visor. Nice barrier. But Joey's tearing through the defenders. All of a sudden, it's all soup. Forced to retreat. And with a minute 15, Coldwell also managed to push the payload to its final destination. Baron have a bit more time. But because both sides managed to pull it off, we'll be going into overtime. Now, in case anybody doesn't know how Overwatch Overtime works on payload control, both teams, with the time they had left, are going to, once again, take turns trying to attack. However, even capturing the point or hitting checkpoints won't put time back on the clock. You've got to work with what you have. With that, Baron do have a bit more time and they'll be starting on the attacking side this overtime. Never mind. That is called well. <laughs> All right. Just a minute 15. Coldwell is going to have to make a statement here. They want another quick, powerful capture. Because every second Baron, man Baron managed to hold them off is a second closer to defeat. Caldwell could pull it up here. They'll already be up 2-0 over Baron. Don't think we saw Baron isn't going to slow down. They're not just going to let that happen. Let's see what they've got. Once again, Caldwell completely foregoing the Widowmaker strat. Very aggressive here. Genji Tracer. Matt, though, almost burnt out. Muko barely hanging on himself. Beautiful early pick by Seth. Werewolf is down as well. We were seeing a really aggressive dive comp call. But nice and nice and squishy. Baird managed to punch through them. And like I said, those those death timers feel awful in an overtime round. Approaching 30 seconds now for Caldwell. Can't really afford to lose another fight. There's the TP. Against playing this very aggressive. We're stepping up, trying to slow it down. Red falling back a bit, but not giving up yet. Mad catches soup. Paris catches mad. Google doesn't want to give up this, this, this point yet, but it's not a choice. Spoken catches Seth. Joey tears the Mukul. Purple gets Joey. Karad gets Seth. Werewolf gets purple. Hard fought. Coldwell managed to gain control. As we said, though, no extra time. They need to keep somebody parked on this payload at all times. It's all about how fast they can push it without losing a team. Without losing a team fight. Ooh, that would have. That'd be a bad death. Soup manages to save Paris from what could have been. The start of a domino chain. Ooh, there's the amp wall. we has got to get cover. Whole lot of vaults coming up on Coldwell's side. Transcendence is going to be very annoying for Baron. There's the Coalescence and the Terra Surge. Wolf takes the amp field. Multiple bodies down on Baron's side. Three. Couple takes out two. Seth gets a third. Joey's down. Despite everything, Baron's still holding on. Ooh, Seth pops the soldier and all. This Baron's chance to wipe this payload. Beautiful dinks. Nice stuff. Krat and Boken are both down, but not before. Werewolf can make it back to the objective. Seth barely hanging on, but he's still up. There's the transcendence from Paris. Baron managed to force Coldwell off the objective. 
84 meters. Baron's turn to attack. They need to just get one zero point meter. In order to take this game. Baron's turn to attack. If they can wield that same momentum they wielded in the very first round, if they're still nice and warm, might be able to move on to this third game. 1-1. One, one. I don't have much experience healing Omnix. I'll figure it out. I greet you. Five, four, three. Aaron rocking the exact same comp they were on defense. Smokin takes out Seth. Beautiful stall pick. Stepping up. Werewolf. Discord and taking out Mukul. Nagging Vulcan as well. Ooh, that Matt on the Bastion able to pivot it, but that immortality is going to keep Baron in the fight. Crash tries to jump in, but Paris takes him out, takes out Matt. His purple catches Joey. Baron gains control of the objective. 48 seconds left. Again, they really can't afford to let up on this payload. Damp ball, kind of an awkward spot. Paris may see a werewolf. Lightning strike's coming down. Soup is down. Google trying to hang on. Lightning strike of Baron's own. Seth catches Krat and Matt. Joey takes out purple. And time's up. Baron to need to keep their butts parked on this card. What can try to fall back? Trying to do as much damage as possible. In the meantime, Seth takes him out. Unless the defender can make it here, lickety split to contest this payload. Here comes Werewolf, there's the Annihilation. Baron not even giving it a chance. Crash jumps and just be burnt down as well. Seth taking out Matt. And securing that second game. Tying us up. We are 1-1, moving on to our third. We want to take a couple minute break as both teams get map situation, everything else sorted. The bathroom, dude, they gotta. Folks, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to game three in just a few.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our third game between Penn State Baron and Caldwell University. We are one-one here. We got to Circuit Royale. Oh man, I was looking for like a scoreboard button for a sec. After last match's hybrid, we are now going back. We are now pivoting over to a pure payload map. Coldwell will start attacking. While Baron will open on the defending side. I'll be out. I'm dropped. Let me out! <laughs> Please! There we go. That's so funny, what? You can speak to that. Oh, what? I could have sworn. Interesting. Ooh, nice cleanup from Soup. The Sniper is in the back line. Moogle takes out Joey. Interesting, a Junker Queen pick from Werewolf. Let, let it never be said that, Caldwell, that Caldwell's team is not a, uh, is not willing to adapt. I've seen a lot of different take picks here. Ooh, Seth finds that shot on Crab. Baron just refusing to give Caldwell the chance to push at all. We'll go batters down Joey, but Vulcan snipes Seth. Matt's in the back line. Take it out by Paris and Soup. Moving back to the front lines. Werewolf discorded in the purple and take, but forced to fall back. Jumping back to the front line soon after. Ooh, can't quite find that axe hit. Soup finishes him off. Yep. Joey takes out Paris. Now once again trying to harass the back line. Baron forced to fall back a bit. All starting to come up. Baron already has three. Fucking. Close himself. Baron's got that superior recon right now. Er, Caldwell. Yeah, Baron has superior recon right now with the Infrasight. Again, adaptability. A Sigma pivot from Werewolf. Ooh, nice. Let's pick on Matt. Sigma all connects. Joey's down. Lightning strike as well. Baron just pushing his advantage further and further. Paris takes out Balkan and Muko gets Werewolf. Purple guns down Krat. Under two minutes now for Caldwell. Baron has barely let them push at all. Werewolf switching again onto Zarya. At a certain point, it might be a good idea to start sticking with something just to build that ultimate. Although, if we're going for ultimates, Zarya is not a bad pick at all, especially with that Genji. Ooh, nice stuff from Joey. Taking out Seth. Knocking a bit of the wind out of Baron Sails. Gotta be careful. Discorded doesn't have Dragon Blade. Does manage to keep pushing. Coldwell approaching that first checkpoint. Matt positioning for that Dragon Blade. Almost up. Two things left. Bukul stepping up. Seth takes out Matt, but not before Matt can dash and tear through soup. Purple catches Joey. Baron pushing up, pushing the attackers back. Bit of a late transcendence there. It's keeping Werewolf in the fight, but Baron can just wait him out. It's also gonna stagger. Ooh, Werewolf does take a purple, and Balkan gets Paris. Werewolf manages to hold out long enough. It's an assist, they'll take it out Mukul. I sleep on Matt. So, taking him out. 
werewolf full health here. Joey keeps out Seth. Man, forget what I was saying. Stalling that long allowed the rest of Caldwell to make it to the objective. Caldwell managed to get to that first checkpoint. Beautiful stuff. Oh. Gotta make it up this hill. Werewolf torn apart. Purple, nice and patient, waiting out that reflect. That is down. Bulgut has been on point with these orbs. Ooh, Joey's dynamite managed to finish off purple. Mukul going for a Sigma ult. But Bulkin and Joey can't just clay pigeon yourself like that. Chip takes out Bulkin. And Seth gets crat. There's a little out of position. Gotta be careful. Do, do, does not want to get caught by Werewolf here. Bit of a quiet spot. Under two minutes. Need for sight. The lightning strike. Set up by purple. Trying to catch Joey. A nice barrier will put that. But a stop to that. Seth domes Balkan. Still slow progress being made. Nice gravity well. The Dragon Blade though, Werewolf takes out purple. Kitsune Rush is gonna give a lot of extra damage to Caldwell. That's coming in. Dragon Blade's up. Nice transcendence from Paris. Baron managed to pivot. Matt is down. Werewolf could follow. Here comes Bob. Paris finishes Bob off. And Mukul with all that damage from the Nano. Trying to force them back a bit. Joey finishes them off. Werewolf catches two. And again, running out of time. Caldwell managed to just barely make it to that next checkpoint. Securing a lease on life. Giving them some more time. Just over two minutes. Getting some pivots for Baron. Much more of a up close and personal area now, especially this final turn. So I like the Winston pick a lot, actually. Mukul jumping in. Beautiful pivot by Caldwell, bursting him down. Orwell finds the kill. It's a big death for Baron. It's take that two as Joey finds Paris. Baron's gotta find a way in. Werewolf throws so much charge, so much damage. Pushing Baron back. That gravity well to catch out any lurkers. And with just over a minute, Caldwell managed to push the payload the entire way. It's Baron's turn now. Some tells me they are waiting to fight just as hard as Caldwell there. Both these teams are so good at playing with momentum. Even pulling it back from the brick, I'm still blown away by that play between... Uh, Werewolf and Balkan. Balkan stalling just long enough for members of the team exactly who needed to be there at that moment to trickle in. Allow them to keep that hold. Baron can keep up all that aggression, all that momentum we saw from them on King's Row. They might just be able to match Caldwell. As does failure. Baron looking to play pretty aggro here. Barry, 
Seth getting a beautiful pick on Joey. Gonna do a great job getting Baron's foot in the door. Oh my gosh, the snipe. Krat is down. Matt almost knocked out. He's gone too. Baron hitting the ground, sprinting. Mukul punches through Vulcan. Baron wipe Caldwell. Beautiful display. I don't think they're gonna... Well, without a tank, they might be able to get to this checkpoint completely uncontested, especially if Seth keeps landing those shots. Yeah, completely uncontested checkpoint. Beautiful stuff. And pushing up that hill. We're pivoting over to Reinhard. Nowhere to run. That bash to get to some damage. Where we'll force to fall back hard. Pivoting some aggro here, trying to deal some damage, but he's down. Paris finds the pick. Muko leading the charge. Purple's right behind him. Just tearing through Caldwell, not giving them a chance. There's the amp wall. Wolf's gonna try and step up. Sigma ults, little overkill, but speaking of overkill, clock just barely hitting six minutes for Baron's push. Already two checkpoints in. Falcon is down. Joey is down. They are just going. Baron have found their stride. But it waltz is up. Matt does manage to find a pick on Seth. That's Venom Mind burns him out. Still an even 4v4. Without Seth's Overwatch, though. There's the Lightning Strike. Paris managed to take out Joey, but Bob is on the field. Paris takes out Bob as well. Red Shadow comes down. Isn't enough. Purple takes out Werewolf. The Transcendence is up. Paris barely hanging on. Leading the charge. You can quite find that rock on Vulcan. Need to pivot over to Wrecking Ball. Seth again with these picks. Catching Joey. Paris takes out Matt. The Tsune Rush. Gonna give Coldwell a little bit more momentum. Especially now that they're dealing with that Wrecking Ball. Some tells me it's not gonna be much. The Sigma Alt. Vulcan survives thanks to that Soju. Seth catching two. Google taking out a third. Four. Matt is down. A clean wipe for Baron. And wow. Four minutes on the clock going into these overtime rounds. Caldwell has their work cut out for him. But as we saw in the second round, they hardly hopped off the payload once they started getting the ball go going. If they can hit their stride early and just punch through Baron's defenses over and over again, this could very well still go in their favor. But Baron has a much, much bigger safety net here with all this time. It's going to be on Caldwell to push first. Their turn to set the tone. They need to plant their flag here. Get tricky. Love that Cassidy skin. Watch my back. Of course. You've told me about your family. I'm sure that's a compliment. All right, here we go. 
Ball's in Caldwell's court. I like the Zarya pick right out the gate here. Did wonders for them in that first round. Ooh, Joey reflecting that headshot right back at Seth. That is a good sign. Big anti. He was on the back foot, but as long as he doesn't die. Aaron keeping him up. They are getting forced back. Coldwell down to 40, down to 30 seconds. Seth manages to make it back and finds a beautiful pick on Krat. Looking for those shots and Mugul catches Matt. Mugul gets Joey. Seth finishes off Werewolf. Especially without that tank. It's going to be all she wrote for Caldwell's attack in this overtime round. They need to plant their feet. That Baron doesn't have to make it very far. And with four minutes of time, they're going to get plenty of tries. Caldwell cannot let up for a second. There'll be some tense discussions here. What do we have faith in? May not have time to pivot the comp. We've got to be confident what we go with right out the gate. Interesting. Bastion of their own, Winston. Meanwhile, Baron just sticking with that comp. They are confident. They like the characters they've picked. Seth has been doing work on this Widowmaker. Right. Ooh, beautiful damage. Krat and Matt almost down immediately. Mukul not letting up. Gotta be careful, though. Ooh, nice self-heal. Seth catches Joey. That might be all the momentum Baron needs. Werewolf is down. Both on fast heroes. They might be able to make it back. Matt managed to take out purple. It's a big gun gone for Baron. And a good sleep from Balkan. Caldwell has to regroup fast. Could have been such a good anti. Caldwell managed to regain control of the objective. Joey takes out Paris, but Seth finishes off Werewolf. No tank is a terrible spot to be in. Google takes out Joey. Was hanging on. Soup catches Krat as Seth takes out Matt. Balkan's the last defender, but he is gone. Werewolf trying to stall, jumping in to do what he can, but just like that, Penn State Baron will take the second round. They are up 2-1 over Caldwell in a absolutely beautiful display. Doesn't mean that Baron is one game away from taking the entire night. Yeah, in, that, in that first round, once once Caldwell got their momentum, it took a bit for them to really hit their stride, but every time they did, it was they were unstoppable. All right. Our fourth map of the night is going to be... I can't remember what it's called. I think it's Push. The one with the bot pushing the thing back and forth, you know? I can't really remember the name right now. <laughs> But that will be our third, our fourth game for the night. It will be our fourth game for the night. Don't go anywhere. Gonna give folks a couple minutes, catch their breath, hit a bathroom, hit a drink, do what they've gotta. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back, right here on twitch.tv slash Baron Esports. Don't go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for our third and potentially final, or our fourth and potentially final game of the night. Baron is up over Caldwell University 2-1. Here on Coliseo. Push map of the night. Purely symmetrical game mode. Be up to the It'll be up to both teams to get their foot in the door. Caldwell on red side, bear down blue. Again, doesn't matter too much. I'm trapped again! Why can't the spec go through the spawn doors? Gentlemen. Five, Gentlemen. <laughs> Baron rocking the same comp that we saw on Circuit Royale. They are really feeling this lineup. You have to see if their just consistent game plan can match the adaptability shown by Caldwell. Matt manages to reflect another headshot on the Seth. It takes out Purple. Matt rushing in. Mookle's down as well. Barely surviving, but he is. Joey covers him. Beautiful initial fight for Caldwell. They get initial control of the bot. They're gonna push. That full wipe giving them a whole lot of time to get some distance. Nice pick by Mukul. That's two. Both DPS on Coldwell's side are down. They've almost made it to the checkpoint already. Vulcan takes out Seth. The nano boost on Mukul just to secure the fight. Werewolf managed to survive it. But making his way back. Moments away from pro from progressing Baron's own marker. Can't quite get it started. Watt falls back into Caldwell control. Good patience from both Matt and Purple. Like a mini game of chicken every time. Purple's in turret mode and Matt has deflect up. Seth gets a nice pick on Matt. And a beautiful boulder on Crowd will secure that pick. The Sigma ult. Good dodges by everyone on Caldwell's side. Welcome to an awkward spot. Seth to find the pick. Werewolf's on the back foot. Baron are officially making progress. Lightning strike. Gravity Blade, the Coalescent securing the rest of it. A triple, a quad for Krad. Matt cleaning up soup. And a beautiful wipe for Caldwell. Not giving Baron any time to push the bot on their own terms. No marker to push. You're gonna hit that checkpoint. Pushing up spawns. Joey takes out purple. Seth catches Joey. Vulcan does manage to take out Paris before he's finished off. 
That takes out Seth, but again, Seth managed to burn him on the way out. We're trying to find that pick on Krat. Beautiful evasion, keeping Werewolf in the fight. Nice sleep on Krat. Not enough to secure a pick though. Paris does manage to finally finish off Werewolf. That bot. Stalled a bit by Joey. Krat burns out Seth. Nice shots from Joey. Again, Krat doing such a good job fighting these picks. Nice stuff from Seven Soup. You managed to take out Map. They are being forced back here. Cold Bull once again can control the bot. Five minutes left on the clock. Do some good, Moogle doing some good damage. Catches Joey. Krat and Vulcan are both down. Beautiful fight for Baron. Stagger Werewolf as well. Let's see if Baron can make any progress here. Bot's gonna make a long walk back. Baron can win this fight, they'll be in a good spot, especially with no tank up on Caldwell's side. That bails out, man, just barely to escape. Werewolf makes it back to his team. Little big gravity well. They get to any rush, Dragon Blade's up. Joey takes out two, Matt takes out a third. Crab with the Coalescence finishes off Mookle. Matt secures the team wipe on Seth. Every time Baron manages to get a little bit of headway, called them, Caldwell stomp them right back down. Those forward spawns doing so much good for Caldwell. Except Baron to never get to fight without Caldwell being this far up. Transcendence. Joey pops the Sojourn off, but it's not enough. He's down. Vulcan takes out Seth. Purple gets Vulcan. Muko batters down. Krad. Werewolf. Soon to follow. Matt is stalling for the rest of his team to spawn. Especially with those forward spawns. It's doing beautiful work. Making it more and more awkward. For Baron to really make any genuine progress here. Three minutes left. All Baron needs to do is win a team fight right around here, and they'll be in a beautiful spot. They have the Sigmal. Coldwell finally doesn't have combo. Ooh, Symmetral for the start. Mukul aiming for Vulcan, but can't quite find it. Vulcan takes him out as Purple takes out Werewolf. Soup's on the back foot. That's doing work. Beautiful stuff, Baron, to manage to win that fight. They are officially pushing their own marker deeper into Caldwell territory. It'll be rough. Gotta play a bit back so the rest of the team gets here. Two minutes. Baron can't afford to let up. How much time it takes the bot to make it back here. They might not have time. There's Katsune Rush. Still no alt combo on Caldwell's side. Be the opening Baron needs. Mukul catches Joey. Beautiful pin on Werewolf. Vulcan takes out Mukul. Matt finishes off Paris. Beautiful pivot by Caldwell. We can control the button, forcing him back. Baron, God is stopped. 
very much into. They've got to stop Caldwell before they regain these forward spawns. They need to win here and to just run with the momentum. Oh, coming down. Getting battered. Joey takes out Purple. Paris doesn't manage to take out Joey. Mukul is nanoed. Beautiful stuff from Seth taking out Matt. Even with the Dragon Blade up. Mukul trying to hold on. The Transcendence. Vulcan trying to hold on. Werewolf is anti though. Krat does manage to take out Mukul. Seth gets Vulcan. Krat is so low. Baron managed to secure it. Werewolf hanging on, but it's finally taken out. 30 seconds left. Baron cannot afford to let up. If they lose control of this bot, they won't get the chance to take it back. Got to match that distance. Given up by Caldwell. It's going to be rough, but it's doable. We're getting poked here. Matt looking for a way in. Beautiful stuff. Google takes him out. Joey takes out Paris. There's the Symmetra ult. Making it awkward for Baron to respond. Or making it awkward for Caldwell to respond. Joey pops the Sojourner covered. Nice Earth Shatter. Joey's down. Seth takes out Balkan. Werewolf holding onto that payload. Holding onto the bot. Krat keeping him up. Matt's managed to make it back. Ooh, those beams. Muko's not going to be able to block them. But with that nano, he might be able to fight him off. Barely hanging on. No werewolf managed to take him out. Caldwell refusing to go out either. We are 2-2 two, two now. Going into our fifth and final game. We got to our only flashpoint game of the night. Folks, don't go anywhere. Just a few. Be right back with our guaranteed final game of the night between Penn State Baron and Caldwell University.
Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Our fifth and final game of the night. We've got Caldwell University in the red corner and Penn State Barron in the blue. Closing it out with a flashpoint map. Some major shakeups on Baron's side. What an interesting hypothesis. Nelly Hunt, 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 Here we go. Werewolf has been an absolute menace on that. Zarya, Seth takes out Vulcan nice and early. Who was on the warpath? Purple's down, Joey's down. Or purple takes out Joey and Matt. That's a clean wipe for Baron. It'll capture that initial flashpoint. Especially with some of these clo the closer parts of New Chunk City. I really like this Reaper pick. Werewolf again, flexing that adaptability. We're already over to Reinhard. Matt, switch over to Reaper. Matt takes that soup. Low but not dead yet. Mukul takes out Vulcan. Werewolf and Matto punching through Baron. Sixty-eight percent for Baron. Point switches sides. Catches Balkan, just a werewolf takes out Paris. Coalescence causing some problems. Joey catches Seth. Beautiful stuff. Caldwell holding that point strong. Not sure if Brandon will be making to contest this one. Paris is gonna try. Manage to get test. Overtime's running out. Baron jump out. Crack gets. Crack gets purple. Gonna find where the dead eye was from. Seth gets Joey. Grat manages to wipe that point. First flashpoint will go to Caldwell. Remember, it's first to three here. Just pivoting over to that sojourn. Bit of time for both teams to set up. Caldwell's already here. Gain it for control. 
Annihilation being counteracted by the Transcendence. Again, Annihilation will last longer. Purple takes out Mad. And get the wipe. He's been staggering Werewolf a bit. That team kill gain control of the point. Comes Caldwell. Just gonna have to hold this strong. That posturing from the corner. A shot from a shot from Seth popped the soldier all, but Joey catches him before he can do anything with it. Pop the sound barrier, Soup takes out Balkan. Muko batters down Krat. Werewolf soon to follow. A very good fight for Baron. Another team wipe, and they take the second flashpoint. 1-1 one, one yet again. Coming up on both sides. Ooh, that's a big ult to not have. Seth finds Krad. Fighting for the objective even goes up. Purple takes out Vulcan. Werewolf runs away with Mukul. And a crit to catch him. Soup trying to hold line, catches Joey, being chased by Matt. And will find the kill. It falls off the map. Baron will gain control of that point. Just gotta maintain control. Werewolf is in deep. Matt's there with him. Matt does have Death Blossom. Couldn't find the chance to use it. Transcendence from Balkan, but nobody really cover with it. Keeping Joey in the fight. Joey can't take out everyone. Goes down a beautiful fight from Baron. Not sure if Caldwell will be able to make it in time to contest this point. His flashpoints tick real fast. Okay, they're they're gonna just be able to regroup for this. Here comes Werewolf. Matt still has the Death Blossom. Coalesce is on both sides. That's looking for the chance. That's a nice TP. Baron fall back. Purple and Soup both find a kill. Muko catches Werewolf. Look at this mage take out Paris, but it's not enough. Barons take a second flashpoint. All they need is one more. If they can capture this final point and hold it to completion, they'll take the night. Baron has some real powerful ults up. Seth taking out Krat. Baron gain industrial control. Caldwell can't just let them tick. Ooh, Joey getting a nice pick on Seth. That's back on Genji.
Michael takes out Joey. Big Terra Surge. Soup is down. World catches Paris as well. From Poppy the Death Blossom. Genji runs right into Muko. Muko takes out two. Purple trying to contest. There's the TP. Doing what he can. Taken out. Baron getting 60% on that point. Not quite enough. One more fight might be all they need. Taking the time, slowing down, letting the whole team get here. Seth has that Sojourn ult. There's the Annihilation. Joey's down even without it. Here we go. Brad's barely hanging on. He's down. It's a lot of big deaths on Caldwell's side. Takes out Balkan. We're trying to hide out, but that's a big stagger. Might not be able to make it back to the point. Caldwell's going to have to go for a contest here, but it's going to be close. Got Dragon Blade. They almost have the Terra Surge. Dead Eyes almost up. Can't afford to lose anyone here. I dashed through. Said getting a beautiful pick. Soup batters down Matt. There's the Dead Eye. It catches purple, but that's it. Mukul takes Joey out. Trying to get that ulti, trying to hold the line. There's a big terror surge, catches soup. It's not enough, just like that. Penn State Baron will take it. 3 1 on the final map, 3 2 in the overall series over Caldwell. A beautiful display from both teams. Absolutely amazing set. All right, just like that, the end of our night. Folks, thank you so much again for tuning in. I've been your host, Michael Manning. This has been Penn State Baron Esports. If you liked what you saw, make sure to follow us right here on twitch.tv slash Baron Esports so you don't miss a thing. And if you do, you can follow us on youtube.com slash Baron Esports where all of our VODs will be uploaded within a week of play. Might be having a stream for uh, League of Legends on Friday. I'm not sure. I won't be there because I'll be playing. But... Keep an eye on the channel. Make sure to follow so that if we do, you'll be the first to know. Folks, thank you so much again for tuning in. I've been your host, Michael Manning. This has been Penn State Baron Esports. Please be safe, be good to each other, and have a fantastic night.